Welcome to a new daily top ask credit video. Today's topic. What famous person had everything going for him but managed to fuck it all up? Matt Lauer. This guy was NBC royalty. Hosting the Olympics, he was there on 9-11, he was a fixture of the network. Then his sex pervert abuser secrets got out and he just fucking vanished. It's almost as if locking women in your office with a secret button under the desk was a bad idea. Man fuck Matt Lauer honestly, I couldn't stand him even before the scandal. Deleted. It's my time to shine. Subway Jared. All Jared had to do was eat subs and not fuck kids. That's it. Endless subs. And he just couldn't help himself. And walk two miles a day. Which is not a lot of walking. He just wanted to get into some smaller pants. Started his career with a mild cholesterol problem. Ended his career because a child molesterol problem. The day that news dropped felt like a South Park episode. That episode aged weird. Most recently, Kevin Porter Jr., NBA player for the Houston Rockets. He just signed a four-year, $80 million deal and got arrested for assaulting his GF. Julio Urias on the Dodgers too. Lost it all for doing the same thing. Might as well as child molester Wanda Franco to the list too. After all said is done, he won't be playing in MLB ever again. And in that deal, because of his prior behavior, they can pretty much drop him at any time without having to pay the rest of his contract. Which is a one-over-one -one type of contract of that size in the NBA. They really said fuck around and find out, and he fucked around big time. Alison Mack. Her character in Smallville was original to the show and not part of the Superman mythos. She did so well by it that they introduced it in the comics. But she had to go co-run a cult that sex trafficked women and branded them like animals. End of career. No reunion shows. No comic cons. Character dropped from the comics so no cool legacy. Oh yeah. Dot and jail. She's out of jail, now. Though, I'm sure no one's gonna be hiring her again anytime soon. Jennifer Grey is always my go-to for self-inflicted career killing. After she starred in Dirty Dancing and became a big name, she decided to get a nose job to make herself look better. What happened was no one recognized her anymore, and her career became limited to minor roles in TV and B-rated movies. There was nothing wrong with her nose in the first place. Reminds me of my aunt. Growing up, her older brother teased her mercilessly about her big nose. Eventually she had enough money to get a nose job. It was basically her life savings. The first thing her brother said was, why did you waste money on that? There was nothing wrong with your nose. Quote. Rudy Giuliani. Had hero status after 9-11 and now is a complete disaster any time a camera is pointed his way. Dude this. He was literally America's mayor. That shit went straight to his head. It makes you wonder what he was up to when he was a prosecutor. When he became America's mayor that was the beginning of the end. He actually suggested pausing elections, then asked if he could be co-mayor. Now he's grasping at anything, anyone who will put him on camera. He's a golem, hunting and grasping for any shred of power. The guy is also walking irony. He basically created the RICO case in order to be able to prosecute and charge the heads of the mob. I. E. The guy's giving the orders to commit a crime but not actually doing it themselves. And now a RICO case is being built against him. Elon Musk on behalf of PayPal in 2000 wanted to hire Giuliani as a political fixer and banking policy advisor and decided not to after the mob-like vibe Giuliani gave off and goonish characters. He was surrounded by, if Elon Musk walks away from you. Bit of an oddball answer but Andrew Cuomo. He was an ADA. Lawyer. Founded a law firm. Was a secretary under Clinton. Ag. And then became NY governor. He was probably one step away from being the next DNC candidate for president. Then, as y'all probably all already know, several women came forward and told their story. Him and Anthony Weiner had the chops to be big national political stars. Add Elliot Spitzer to that list. Dude was nicknamed, the Sheriff of Wall Street, for his crackdown on corruption and was a huge star. Won the New York governorship with the largest margin in state history. Then he had to go and get caught with several prostitutes. If that didn't happen Spitzer could very well have been the 2008 Democratic nominee for president. Instead of Obama and won the general election. John Wilkes Booth. He was a famous and highly regarded actor with a very successful career before he murdered. President Lincoln. 26 years old. Considered the handsomest man in America and making the equivalent of over $370,000 a year in. Today's money. I never knew that about him. I thought he was just some run-of-the-mill asshole. That's like Timothée Chalamet assassinating Biden, WTF. Kind of screwed over his whole family too. They were all very accomplished actors. His older brother Edwin was considered the preeminent American actor of his time with many. Historians of the theater considering him the greatest American actor to have ever lived. Now pretty much nobody knows anything about the family besides what his brother did. In regards to Edwin, some theatrical historians consider him the greatest American actor. And the greatest Prince Hamlet. Of the 19th century, 
not to mention the fact he saved Lincoln's son, Robert, from slipping underneath a moving train. Edwin was a unionist and hated JWB even before his act of notoriety. He founded the players in NYC and ironically, saved Abraham Lincoln's son's life many years later. I once read a comment that said, it would be like if Keanu Reeves shot Joe Biden. Quote, I've also heard Liam Hemsworth used because of the more famous brother thing.